I starting or are you? I'll start. Hello! We are on the way to Seguin, Texas to pick up our Winnebago Solace. It is September 7th. It's a Tuesday. It's our first week not working. Jason is also here. What's up, y'all? Oh, English. I didn't get you in a lot of that shot. <sighs> Do you want me to start over? I, aren't we starting over? I'm so confused by what you're doing. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I thought we'd fix it in post. Great. <laughs> Thumper, where are we? What are we doing? La la la, manatee song. Manatee song. Manatee song. It's the manatee song. I don't know if the mic's working. We'll oh, find out. Okay. Hey y'all. What? <laughs> start uh, over, do it better. Do it better? Do it better. Hi y'all. Okay, let me start. Hello, we are at Palmetto State Park after picking up, why are you laughing? Nothing. You, you have a very serious monotone. What? Hi, <laughs> we're at Palmetto State Park. We just picked up our new Winnebago Solace and it was not that dirty. It looked a lot more brand new um, an hour ago but so funny story um i was driving the van and tamara was driving my car and i was leading the way she put palmetto state park into google maps we were driving and i thought when i looked at it before it was just like a straight shot down i-10 and it was like a 20 25 minute drive and it was like a 40 minute drive and it was taking us through all these back roads with a bunch of loose, my google maps said to go that way loose rocks and but i was following tamara and she went this way so i followed her and i had avoid highways turned off on maps and apparently the only way to get here avoiding a highway is to go through a nice gravel and dirt road for what 15 miles yeah and so that was fun um so that's why both my car and her van are now covered in a nice fine white powder layer on top of the nice shiny red that it was an hour ago yes so now we're going to load up the van and spend the first night in our new van <laughs> great <laughs>
Hey, it's our final night at Palmetto State Park. This will be our third night, right? Yes. Yes. It's our like precursor to our actual adventure, but we've already had plenty of adventure already. Um, yesterday, we woke up from our first night and there was a puddle of standing water next to our bed. So we took it back to the dealership to see what it was because it seemed bad and they don't know what it is. Nope. They have no idea. My mom thinks that Thumper just peed in the floor, but it wasn't pee, it was water, so... Did you taste it to see? I did not. Um, it didn't do it again today, so that's good. Yeah, so we got to spend the day in Seguin yesterday, and we had fun. We got sandwiches. What was the name of that place? Oh, Court Street Coffee Shop. Yeah, that's what it, was. it was good. They let Thumper come in, and he got a treat. And then we went down the street, and we saw a statue commemorating the largest pecan. It wasn't the actual largest one. It was a statue. Uh, and we've been hiking around Palmetto State Park. There were some cool trails around here with a lot of palmettos. That's why the park is named Palmetto State Park. They look like palm trees, but without the tree part. It's like a little palm, a palmetto. Poco it. palmetto. And we saw birds and we saw squirrels. Yes. And we didn't see any snakes, even though there's a lot of signs saying to avoid the snakes. We've seen a bunch of spiders. A lot of spiders. Including uh, one scared me half to death because I went to the camp bathroom there was a spider the size of my fist that was just hanging out in the urinal and I ran out of the bathroom and had to slowly tiptoe my way back in after that. That's called a wolf spider. Thumper wants to be in the vitter. Oh. Oh. Thumper, Thumper, do you have any idea what's going on? How do you like van life so far? Um, and, oh, we've spent the last few nights freezing, actually, even though it's 90-some degrees out. The AC is right above our bed, and there was the knob that lets you turn it from either low f or high. So we had it on low, but it still was freezing, because it's literally when you're sleeping, like, a foot above your face. So I had my wool socks on. We had our winter sleeping bag. Jason had his smart wool on. But it turns out there's two knobs on the air conditioner, and it's not like... The second one is hidden. There's only two knobs and they're right in the center next to each other. Second knob lets you turn it from hot to, well, from probably cool to very cold. And so I guess by default it was set to Arctic frigid at max. And uh, so today we realized we can turn it down from Arctic frigid. So. And right now it's boiling because we turned the AC off to film this video because the AC is too loud. In a few minutes I'm going to try our shower which is this thing right behind us and see how showering in a casket sized shower is did you say a casket sized shower isn't that about what it is yeah but that's a weird analogy <laughs> what other analogy would you use for I don't it know, a closet at home we have walk-in closets that are bigger than that and then tomorrow we're gonna take this back to houston and store it for a couple weeks and get rid of the rest of our stuff. Oh, we'll see you in a few weeks when yeah. we do that. Bye now. Bye! Smash that subscribe button. Like. Okay, no, well, don't say no, that. Don't say, don't say that. that. We're not doing that.